Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and welcome to our Simplify Academy lesson on three properties. We will be talking about the identity property, the multiplication property of zero, or the zero property of multiplication, and we will be practicing. First off, let's talk about the identity property. The identity property basically gives you back the original number. We can do the identity property with adding by adding a number plus zero, and we get the same number back. Here's an example. 15 plus zero equals 15. That's the identity property of addition. Here's another example. Four plus zero equals four. 20 plus zero equals 20. Seven plus zero equals seven. Any number plus zero gives you that original number back again. It basically gives you the same number you started with. That's what identity property is. Let's look at the identity property of multiplying. What do you have to do to a number? What do you have to multiply times a number to get the original number again? This might have been your favorite times tables when you were growing up and first learning them. Any number times one gives you that same number again. So using this, several of the examples we just saw, 15 times one is 15, four times one is four, 20 times one is 20, seven times one is seven. That's it. That's the identity property of multiplication. Remember to identify something is to label what it is. So if we're identifying a number like 20, we wanna say 20 is 20. So that might be a way to help you remember the identity property. You get the number that you started with. The easiest property with multiplying to remember by far is the zero property of multiplication. This is just so straightforward because it literally means you multiply times zero. Anything times zero gives you zero. We can write this out as a number times zero equals zero. So 12 times zero equals zero. Nine times zero equals zero. 213 times zero equals zero. 64 times zero equals zero. This is the zero property. At this point, I wanna take a pause for just a second and try and answer the question that is often asked about these properties. If it's so obvious, why do we give it a name? The, one of the reasons that we give it a name is because later on in geometry, you have to explain every step when you're solving questions. It's called a proof. And if you have names for even the obvious steps, then you can, you can justify this each step of your solution. All right, that's one reason. Also, when you're talking about it, as, as mathematicians will talk about different steps, um, perhaps it's easier to have a name for each thing. Also, I think Mr. Math wants to confuse everybody. And Mr. Math is just whoever it is that came up with all of these things. So anyway, let's go ahead and do a little bit of practice. We have learned the identity property, the zero property of multiplication, and the identity property of addition. We're gonna practice for a little bit. I want you to find the zero property of multiplication in this group, it's hiding. It might be um, really easy to find because it literally says zero property of multiplication. Were you able to pick out the yellow and green equations out there? 25 times zero equals zero and three times zero equals zero. Those are the ones that are the zero property of multiplication. Let's do our next group. Um, find the identity property of addition. Identity property of addition. Remember with identity property, you're looking to get the number at the end that you had at the beginning. And when it says addition, you know you're adding. So we are looking at six plus zero equals six and five plus zero equals five. Those are the two identity properties of addition. Examples that we have. All right, whoops, I, I just gave you one of the answers for the next one. Oh well, can't go back now. Find the identity property of multiplication. Here's one example, four times one equals four. Notice we started with four and we ended with four. That's the identity property of multiplication. There's one other example out there. Can you find it? 
I'm sure you did. It was 13 times 1 equals 13. The number you start with is 13. We multiply times 1, and we're left with 13. Perfect. A couple things to remember. The identity property of addition is adding 0 to a number. The identity property of multiplication is multiplying a number times 1. And the 0 property of multiplication is multiplying a number times 0. There it is. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Go ahead and practice identifying those properties using the worksheet. Good luck and have a wonderful day.